Hello students, now we are going to discuss about what is the impact of a chosen plain text attack on BES. As you know a chosen plain text attack is where the attacker has control over what plain text he can choose and the corresponding cipher text he gets. Okay? So um, let's say uh, now before that we need to know what is the property you are going to make use of. You are going to make use of what is called the bitwise, bitwise complement property right of des so what is that bitwise complement property of des which means if i take say <coughs> um plain text and the key go through des i get a cipher text right at the same time if i kind of um complement this plain text and the key what I get will be a complement of the original cipher text by complement what we mean is changing all the zeros to ones so if you have a bit sequence like uh, 0010 0, 0, 0, its complement is going to be 1101 1, 0, 1. so that's what we mean by complement so if I take up a plain text and a key get a cipher text through DES if I take a complement of that plain text and a complement of the key, I get a bitwise complement of the corresponding cipher text. Okay. So now the attacker captures, say, a cipher text and he has access to that plain text also. The goal is to determine the key. Okay, using cryptanalysis and we are doing a chosen plain text attack. Okay. So let C1 be the thing that you get with that plain text and the key let c2 be the thing that you get with the complement of the plain text and the key all right now the same notion we can say c2 prime is going to be apply this to this is going to be complement of this plain text you take another complement you get back the plain text and the key all right uh, the key prime so the complement of the key because you're taking complement right so complement of p prime is p complement of key k is k prime and complement of c2 is c2 prime so what's the idea now <coughs> you see here these are the possible keys for example it's four bit keys right okay so you can have 16 different keys but within the 16 different keys you see the complements which means for for z see this is a complement of this and for this the complement is this so right so we're going to make use of this which means <clears throat> this is my key search space for four bit keys right so i don't have to really try with each of this 16 keys because what i can do is i can say let's say let's pick up this as an example if my key k is going to be 0 1 1 1 i know my k prime is going to be 1 0 0 0 0 right so i capture for capture plain text cipher text pair right find c1 and c2 prime why we can find c1 c2 prime for the plain text with, with your particular key k find c1 similarly for the same plain text that you captured and the key k prime that you have now find c2 prime and you have captured what a cipher text right so this is a cipher text so for this if c1 equals c then the actual key is going to be k if c2 prime is equal to c then the actual key is going to be k prime on the other hand if neither of the true if if neither of this is true then proceed with the next key k 
in the search space but you don't have to try because if neither of this are true then you have really kind of try two keys right so which means we can right away kind of say we have uh, tried these two so we don't have to try uh, them so you really have to work with only or not work but you have to really try searching for only half of the key space okay so which means if you have 56 bits for the des key you have a search key search space of what 2 to the 56 so 2 rise to 56 but because of this bitwise complement property of the key space and the property of des it reduces to half of the actual key search number of keys to be searched for is half of that to the power 56 which is to the power 55 And that is what is actually explained in the solutions if you go through it.